obviously, uh, you got to find different ways to win. Conference battle uh, against a team of unbelievable size. But, uh, and, you know, it's a long year ago. I told the Tigers at halftime, you've got to just shake it off. We talked a little bit about his decisions. And I said, you know, you're a great player, you've got to let it go. We're not going to win without you. So, he uh, used to three for seven in the second half, two for four and three. Uh, we turned it around in the second half, obviously offensively. 44 in the second half. Give them credit for our first half offense. Um, you know, I put the ball, I, I was asking Tyler to do too much. Sometimes, you know, I got great confidence in them, but we got way more player movement, we got way more ball movement in the second half. It was very obvious. So, um, made some adjustments as a coaching staff. You know, I may had I may had the right statement at halftime to the team. He said we can't worry about offense. We're in the game still. We only got 21 because of our defense. And we can't stop defending. And I still think that we got all the way. We give up 49 percent on the gym. We did create some turnovers. Uh, but I just think we guys have a lot of it's just it's frustrating when we won't draw the charge. You know, it's a different time, but I don't hear about it. it's a different time. And I turn on, I, I turn on my phone and I have, I show my team. I wish I, I can't pronounce her name, but whoever she is, if she ever wants to help coach basketball. She got a grand assistant spot. The girl from Houston that dove on the table. I don't know if you guys saw it. It's the greatest player of the year. If I was in charge, she won't win it. But if I was in charge of the ESPYS, she wins the ESPY for best player of the year. All out. Not only did she do it, she got up and finished the play. And Saturday morning, I saw it, and we showed it to our team before practice. Before practice. I got guys who want to take a charge. She's all out. Pete Rose, all out on that table. Saved it. You got to see it, man. I'll send it to you. It's the best play I've ever seen. In any sport. Of course, that's how I play. You know, my, I got a good friend of mine. Uh, I used that loosely. He was very sane. He wanted to stand in the cup, Barry Johnson. Uh, yes, I did get drinking. Uh, he said that their motto was, what's best, the abs motto is sometimes uh, what's not best for you is best for the team. So getting one over might not be best for you, uh, but it's what the team needs. And, uh, but obviously, work for them. You know, team sports have got to do things that aren't best for you, that, that sometimes are not in your best interest. So, but, you know, again, I saw the tail two halves. We shoot 51% in the second half. Better ball movement, better shot selection. You know, can we kept defending. But give a working credit, I thought they had tremendous spike in them, which I knew they would because they're scheduled. They played Michigan State, UConn, Villanova, and Houston. So they're they're bad. They come in here very bad. It seemed like your intensity was there when you needed it as a team. It was or was it? Was. Yeah, I mean, look, we can get some seven minutes to go down the stretch. I went with Kenny a lot defensively as a veteran. Um, you know, we, we our big concern was the backboard. Now we got five offensive out of twenty-five misses because of their size. So we did a good job. There. I just don't think, you know, if you're getting look, the proof is in the numbers. I mean, I'm not all about numbers, but if you look at the analytics defensively, we're, we're not in the top 10. We're like 30th. We can drop the So, but we got a lot of young guys. We just got to keep pounding the nails. It's the only way we're doing something. We got to continue to build our defense out. It's going to be, you know, we're going to be a work in progress for a long time. I thought of Murray had a great second half. It hit all 14 of points in the second half. Yeah, for sure. When you have a first half like that, it's kind of a slog. It, it's, it's, yeah, that's it's not what's bad. Half. When you go in at halftime, are you raising your voice or are you just trying to call me saying, hey, we can ramp up the intensity? I try everything. Usually I try to be calm. Then I try to raise my voice. Then I realize I like to live. So I try to be calm again. 
I realize you know, the guys on the line and love them, but you can't do that during the game. Um, so, you know, you change it up. You know, they, I didn't surprise them. I knew this was coming. You know, they got big, they got big, strong athletes. Um, you know, they gave my man a little bit of trouble around the rim. You know, it's a game like, look what happens. You know, Dante gets foul trouble, my man gets foul trouble. Or you got foul trouble when you get down. So, you know, that's conference basketball. You just got to find a way to get winning and you know, get on the track. Win and improve. The key is improve. The key is not being happy that you want it. That is the biggest challenge coaching young people. Consistent winning, repetitive winning that you really want. It's even harder to coach with the Warriors record, with the Rams record. Even my, even my abs are struggling a little bit. They got a lot of things. I know nothing about the Hockey. <laughs> I was going to ask. Just, sir, my, just my buddy. So. I was going to ask. Are you going to try and impart a hockey mentality? No. <laughs> I, I don't know. No. I I watched it for the first time after we Eric and I become friends. I don't know what guy can play. Them guys are way too tough. Not even in a strats. Forget about that. Um, but again, you got to win and improve, and you can't win and be happy that you won. You know. We gotta, we've got to look at the film and we've got to continue to find ways to get better as individuals and as a team. That's who, that's what college basketball is about. That's why it's such a different game, game to game. As soon as you start thinking you're really good, you go play and it goes into Rutgers. And I don't know if anybody in America could be college yesterday if you watch it. I've never seen a team play as hard as that. It happens in college basketball. That's why college basketball is the best for you in the sport. It's not just the tournament. When you get into conference play, forget five games. And it's just World War III. The atmosphere in that game is nuts. You know, they look how hard this game is, how hard fought this game is. So we overcame a bad first half. Give our guys credit for digging in there and uh, we'll try to keep improving. One more thing, Amari just seems to be flourishing out of your technique in his career. He's got great talent. You know what he does? Seven for twelve. He's now shooting like fifty-five percent. Very rare. Very rare for a young player to understand shot selection. Very rare. It shows his basketball IQ. He's an unbelievable basketball IQ. I can't tell you how many guys in seven years as an assistant, twenty as a head coach, I've coached. Begging guys to understand that you'll be a better player if you shoot high percentage shots. Very few guys do. Very rare as a freshman. Very rare. Doesn't doesn't force. Rarely forces. So, all right, guys. Thank you. Thanks, man.